Hello, Anna. Hello. Jose, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I think Anna has a little problem with the connection. Yes, because it's raining. Yes, in my house is raining. It like five minutes ago. Five five minutes ago, begin raining very hard. Here in Antiguo Catlan, uh, thirty minutes ago. Ah, okay. I'm in Santa Tecla, so I imagine it's going to rain for thirty minutes. <laughs> yes. And Jose, in this moment, continue raining in, in your area. No. Um, yes. Okay. So maybe all the class continue raining here. And tell me, Jose, what happened today? Well, uh, it's, uh, how, how do you say, well, a uh, sleepy day. <laughs> Because all, all day it's raining in La Escalón. So I, I have my job in that place. So it's raining all day. Ah, okay. And you go to, you don't work from home. You go to the office. Yes, I, I, I have to travel to Antiguo Catlán to Escalón to work. Okay. Every day. Every day, to mm -hmm. Monday to Friday. Okay, and in the pandemic, you work from home or no? Um. Yes, so, some a couple of, of months, and then well, uh, I have to visit the office uh, one day yes and one day no. Okay, and now it's permanent, huh? Yes, it's permanent. Okay, and did you like to work from home? Um, at the beginning, you you feel relaxed and you can work with any clothes, but uh, you want then then you want to go out. So 50-50. Okay, okay. <laughs> Only in the beginning, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, good, good. I'm glad that you at least you have a job. Many people in the pandemic they lost a job. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's a little difficult, but it's good. You have to adapt. Yes. Okay, good job. Let's go ahead and see who else we have. We have, a, now we have Cesar, Jose Carlos, and Ana Garcia. Ana, are, are you able, you are connected now? Hi, teacher. Hey, good, hey, hey. good evening. It's raining by your house, Ana? Yes, it's raining. Yes, it's raining. We imagine because it's typical when it rains, always, always have problems with the internet. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Well, guys, we are going to go ahead and continue. Um, our topic from yesterday was conditionals. Do you remember a little bit about the conditionals? Yes, teacher. Okay, tell me, what do you remember was the idea for the conditionals? We have to use if. Mm hmm if, um, if and there are uh, two sentences. 
Okay. Uh, in in the conditional, uh, we use the if uh, at the end and combine two sentences. One in and in simple present and another one in simple future. Correct, correct. So the important is that is the if can go at the beginning or at the end is your decision. But is two parts for the sentence. The part with if is the verb in present. And the other part is with the simple future in positive or negative. I will or I won't. For example, if I don't have internet, if I don't have internet, I won't give my class. Okay. This is the idea for the simple present. These are is because it's not imagined, it's real. It's a real situation. For in this moment, it's raining. So if I don't have internet or, or if I don't have electricity, I don't I won't give the class. Or you can use positive. I will, and then the verb in present. So we remember a little bit. Yes. Yes. All right, great. So in this case, we're going to start first by speaking and reviewing a little bit about our conditionals. In the chat, you see, I, I gave you a link with different types of questions. All the questions are first conditional, okay? And the idea is only give your opinion. Remember in English, your opinion is always correct. It's not ah, is good or bad, no. It's your opinion is your opinion and is correct. The important is use the grammar correctly, okay? If, if I and the verb in present, and then that's complement, I will or I won't. Yes. Yes, and, and yes. the question is with will, right? With will. Mm -hmm. So the first, the first condition is with will. Uh huh. The complement with will. Okay. Let's practice with our partners.
Okay. Let's take a look and make sure we understand how to make the correct grammar. Karen, read number one and give me the answer. Number one, if you eat less junk food, you may lose weight. Okay, okay, good. Jose Isaias, what's number two? What exercise teacher, excuse me? It, I'm sharing the screen. Uh, let me check. Number two. Yes. Okay, if you want to work every day, uh, you may lose weight, I think. Ah, okay. So then do you think number one is incorrect? Uh, or maybe you might feel healthier. Okay, okay. Okay, so you you think number one is correct? The two answers uh, can be possible. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. Cesar, number three. Okay. Um, if you don't get enough sleep, you won't be able to stay awake in classes. In Good. class? Only the pronunciation, able. A what? Would you repeat? Able. Able, able awake, able to stay awake in class. Correct. Okay. Good. Ana Garcia, number four. Number four, if you exercise, you might feel better. You might feel healthier. You might feel healthier, yes. Okay, okay, good pronunciation, healthier. Healthier. Good, good. Okay, thank you. Great. You're welcome. Monica, number five. Uh, number four, do have more money to, to spend on yourself. Number uh, number five. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. I see we have a little bit of, uh, we don't agree because, for example, you'll stay in shape without joining the gym. No one says. No, no. I think that that is in second one. Do you think it's for number two? Yeah, uh, if you walk to work every day, you'll stay in shape without joining a gym. Okay, maybe number two, okay, all right. Let's see, let's see if we are correct or wrong. And which ones are the right ones? Ah, you see, we are correct with all of them. And number two, that is the correct. You'll stay in shape without joining a gym. Good. Okay. Any questions for 4.11? No, teacher. It's clear. Okay, great. So now we have the conditionals. It's wonderful. The next topic we're going to have is a reading and speaking. First, the, the idea, the topic is going to be, are you in love? Okay. So first, have you ever been in love? Have you ever fallen in love? Let's watch a small video about falling in love. After what you have read, can you tell us which one is more difficult for you? Falling in love or staying in love? Share your opinion on our discussion box. Ah, so there we have two questions. Falling in love, staying in love. First. What is the difference? What do you think is the difference? Falling in love and staying in love, or is the same? I think that's the same, I don't know. Okay. I, I think uh, staying in love is like to, how do you say, 
permanecer. In the bank. In the bank? No, 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 no. Staying in love is like to say permanecer en el tiempo. Stay. That, that stay. is stay. Uh -huh. And falling in love is like to present. And, uh, falling o oh, enamorarse ahora. I think. <laughs> no problem, no problem. That, that is, all the answers are correct. All the ideas are correct. The first is, what is your opinion? This is the idea. Okay. Now, what are we going to do? with our partners, we're going to read here. We're going to read together to make sure that it's clear and we have good pronunciation. Now, you can see we have many different, uh, let's see, we have uh, paragraphs. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six. Okay, we have six paragraph. Number one, who's going to read number one? Me. Hi. Okay, great. You are number one from you to said. Who is number two? Me, teacher. Okay, from if to not. Number three, who's number three? Me, teacher. Okay, good. From you to weak. Okay. Number four? Hi. Good. Monica, from you to announcer. To announcer. Number five? Me, teacher. Okay, from okay to life. Okay to life. And okay. the last, and the last, number six? Me, teacher. Okay, from you to better. You finished the last one. All right, let's read together. Let's see. We have this. Are you in love? Ah. What is the difference between having a crush on someone and falling in love? Okay, number one. You think you're falling in love. You're really attracted to a certain person, but did, this has happened before and it was just a crush. How can you tell if it's real this time? Here's what our readers say. If you're falling in love. Okay, now number two. If you're falling in love, you'll find yourself talking to or telephoning the person for no reason. You may pretend there's a reason, but often there's not. Good, number three. You'll find yourself bringing this person into every conversation. When I was in Mexico, I, a friend begins to interrupt with, my boyfriend made a great Mexican dinner last week. <laughs> okay, good. Number four. You made Sony by interested in things you use it to about. When a woman Asked me to tell her all about football. I know she's falling in love, said a TV sport announcer. Good, good. Only the pronunciation. B, B, and used to avoid. Used to avoid. Be used to avoid. Good. Very good. Okay, number five. Okay, so you falling in love, but falling in love is one thing, and staying in love is another. How can you tell as time passes that you're still in love? If you stay in love, your relationship will change. You might not talk as much about the person you are in love with. You might not call him or her so often, but this person will never, never, what is the pronunciation? <laughs> I don't know. Nevertheless. Never, nevertheless, become more and more important in your life. Good. Pronunciation is relationship. Relationships. Okay, good. Okay. And the last one, number six. 
Okay, uh, you find that you can be yourself with this person. When you first feel in love, you were probably afraid to admit certain things about yourself. But now you can be totally honest. You can trust him or her to accept you just as you are. Falling in love is great. Staying in love is even better. Okay. Before we continue, are there any words or questions about the vocabulary? What is the meaning of suddenly? Is without with no preparation is like an earthquake the earthquake is suddenly oh okay okay any other words afraid teacher Af afraid afraid is scared afraid means that you are scared Okay. You. You're welcome. Okay. Nevertheless. Oh. Nevertheless, this I'm going to tell you in Spanish because it's very hard is sin embargo. Okay. Okay. Nevertheless. What is so then, so then I. Ah, what was suddenly? Our events that uh, pass uh, quickly. Correct. Pass quickly with no preparation, like the earthquake or the, or the a volcano erupt. Wow, suddenly. Any other words? Pronunciation of right, teacher. Repeat. Pronunciation uh, number six. A fly to admit. Okay. Good. No, no, ah, uh, it's, uh, uh, or, no, sorry, the, the I, no, it's afraid, like E. Afraid to admit. Okay. Afraid. Correct. Afraid. Any other words? No. Not. Okay, all right, good. So the question, ah, back to the topic. Ah, falling in love or staying in love? Ah, what is the difference? Now what do you understand is the difference for falling in love and staying in love? Uh, stay, staying in love is when when you are in, in a long relationship relationship okay yeah. i think okay. And falling in love is like uh, for the crush or i don't know or in, in or a, a a suddenly event okay okay like the tiktok the instagram oh I like it's pretty, but it's not it's not love. It's only the crush, right? Yeah, I think. Uh -huh. Okay, and falling in love is you have a relationship with the person, but staying in love is like the like the people that continue the relationship that ah continue and having the good, maybe not the same, but continue to have that great relationship. It's okay? It's okay. Okay. So now, have you ever had uh, a boyfriend or a girlfriend that you love and 
or you when you were young, you remember the first boyfriend, the first girlfriend, and then you separate and you say, I know, I love that person. No, never ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, no. Oy, oy, only, 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 solo uno, solo uno a la vez, solo uno a la vez. Ay, ya, ya, ay, hasta me, me duele los oídos. What, what, what happened? What happened? Uh huh, uh huh. I don't know what was done. <laughs> uh huh. All right. Let me help you a little bit with the idea. Okay. So we're going to talk about marriage and about relationships. Okay. And it's better to be single or the different questions, right? About the idea why people have uh, these relationships. It's your opinion, okay? Whatever you want is no problem, okay? Is if you agree, you like marriage, you don't like marriage, is no problem, okay? All right. So I'm going to put the link in the chat and then we can talk to our partners a little bit about your opinion. Give, ask the partner the questions that you see, uh, you agree, you don't agree, you think is good the marriage, is bad the marriage. Uh, what do you think? Maybe it's not necessary to continue the marriage in El Salvador. Uh, now it's better, no marriage, only open relationship. Uh -huh. There we go. Okay, check the chat. There you have all of them, the link. Okay, let's go.
Okay, so let's take a moment and talk about your opinion about marriage, relationships, good, bad, is better, no marriage, is better, open relationship, what? Tell me, what do you think? Is good or bad the idea for marriage? I think that the marriage is, is good if the both are um, sure of that. I, I think that. Okay. And what do you think, Cesar? Do you, do you want to get married? Yeah. Yeah. Um, someday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. No, not in this moment, right? <laughs> someday, someday. Okay. And so, and what about the others? What the other members? What do you guys think? Is good, bad? You agree? You say nah. It's better no marriage. In the country, many people do not get married. They only live together. I For me, marriage is important. It, it is important, or or is not important, Anna. It is important. Ah, it is. Okay, okay. Anna, are you married? Uh huh. No, no, please. I think that the marriage is uh, important, but is necessary. Is not. Sometimes it's necessary. Okay. Okay. What about your family, your mom, your your mother, your father? Are they continue married or divorced? My my, my father and my mother are, are, mar are married. They are married, okay. Yeah. And how many years have they been married, Cesar? Well, like uh, 40 years. Uh, when, when, yeah. Uh, because uh, married, get married uh, when I I was a child, so like uh, eight. When when I I was I was um, I was eight or nine. I don't remember uh, years old. And how old are you now? Uh, Twenty two years old so i'm 22 years old oh okay so no no 40 years 14 years yeah 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 14 years okay 14 okay no no it's, it's, it's good it's, it's a long time only when i heard 40 i think wow it's super long okay yeah yeah i confuse the numbers no problem no problem 14 is a long time what about the other members uh, Monica, Mariel, Los Aldini, I don't listen, Karen, Jose Carlo, what happened? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Teacher, I think uh, the marriage is okay, but it's not necessary sometimes because uh, it's for necessary uh, the love. Y I don't know how you say lealtad, compromiso, ah, fidelidad, uh, like, the, like uh, los deberes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come, how do you pronounce? I, I'm. You, it's loyalty, commitment. Loyalty. Uh -huh. Com commitment. Commitment. Mm -hmm. okay. it, it's commi commitment. Commit. Commitment. Commitment. Okay. Correct. Two T. Commit. And fidelidad. Ah, fidelity. Yeah, okay. Uh huh. Or faithfulness also is okay, faith faithful. Mm -hmm. The person has to have it has to be loyal. Has to have uh has to have commitment. Be faithful. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how long do you think is necessary to have boyfriend girlfriend uh, have a relationship before you say hey it's for me i want to get married how long do you think is the necessary time 
I think with the time necessary uh, is uh, two or three years of relation relationship relationship. Wow. Okay. Okay. Teacher, in my case, um, my husband ha was my boyfriend for 10 years. <laughs> 10 years. Uh, yeah, uh, and I, I know in the university because he was my professor. <laughs> ah. mm -hmm. I got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now, how long have you been married, Karen? Uh, 25 years. Wow. But 10 years, boyfriend and girl. No, no, sorry, sorry. Uh, 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 16 years, 16 years. 16. For 10, 10 years, a uh, boyfriend and okay. for 16, yes, uh, the married. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And he, he is only, uh, uh, only my boyfriend. Uh, I don't know how you say El único novio que tenía. <laughs> My only boyfriend. My only boyfriend, yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Okay. Congratulations. Yes, it's amazing. It's, it's, it's a long it's amazing time. History. For me, it's amazing que, que aguantó 10 años. Yo lo había dejado, pero okay, it's a long time. Yes. Imagine 10 years, the boyfriend. Mm. What do you think, Aldini? How long is your biggest relationship? Uh, teacher, I think it's important to love, but I don't understand the high in a relationship very complicated. Okay. You don't understand the what, Aldini? No. Ah. I don't know that uh, that Aldini said uh, that uh, if, if you are uh, you are staying in love, why a relationship? That's not important, right? Ah, okay, okay, yeah. okay, yes, mm -hmm. okay, good. It's another view, right? <laughs> uh huh. Yes, yes. For for example, for for me. Only I have a relationship with my wife, boyfriend, and girlfriend four months. Four months, and I asked to marry. And then in February, we are going to have 20 years married. Mm -hmm. Wow. Really? Yeah, 20 years. In this moment, 19 years. In February, we are going to be married for 20 years. So... I, that's why for me, when the people say the boyfriend, the girlfriend, two years, three years, 10 years, I, oh, wow, it's, it's a long relationship for me. It's, it's a long time. Mm, never, never. I, I think never. You have, didn't have a, a long relationship. Never, never have a long, a long relationship, boyfriend and girlfriend with my wife or ex-girlfriends. No. No, no. Mm -hmm. it, for, for me, is, is, is if I don't see future, I stop and go for another. Why, why continue? Uh -huh. No, no, one yeah. year, two years, six months, seven months, eight months, the same, the same. But if I don't see future, nah. Uh huh. It's like a movie. If I watch a movie and the movie boring, I don't continue. It's not logical. Continue the movie boring. The same from the relationship. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But but I but I but I like I I but I I I understand I understand the the idea that some people no 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 because maybe don't have the opportunity to to speak a lot with the partner or to go out and to discover the partner, and then you need more time. Because imagine in El Salvador, you work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Only you see your partner one day. It's, it's very small the time eh, to, 
to know your partner, you need more and more time to, to talk with your partner and, and understand. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Well, good. All right. So now we have the ideas. We got our the concepts for marriage, no marriage, the divorce. And what do you think about the American, the, the American uh, open relationships uh, is not necessary. Is I have uh, three girlfriends, four girlfriends. My wife have two husbands, three husbands. Eh, it's no problem. What do you think? Is good or not good? For me, it's not good because he's uh, like said, uh, Helen is important, the loyalty, the com commitment and the fidelity, right? Okay, but, yeah. but if there are not people like that, so they can do. <laughs> okay, okay. I think today the society is more is more open minded, because now I think uh, Anna Lisette said that now many many relationships don't marry, only live together, and it's okay. And now the the society accepts, but before. The society, the two people live together. I know they. I. I they, they are not. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> but but that is at uh, the past school, right? <laughs> I think. I think. I think now. For me, I I think many people ah they live together. Okay, it's not ah marry marry marry. But before yes, the before you live together. Hey, in the marriage, what happened? In the marriage, what happened? Mm hmm. Okay. All right, guys. So as we can see, it's very easy to express our opinions. All you have to do is give. It doesn't matter anything that you want. It's only you say it is correct because it's your opinion. Okay. That's the important part. Today we finish unit four. That means that tomorrow we are going to begin unit five. Why tomorrow? Because tomorrow we need to begin and finish the exam before next week, Thursday. Next week is Thursday is the last day. So only we have five more classes, five classes and finish the level. Teacher, excuse me, I have a question. Yeah, Karen. But I need you uh, say in Spanish. Okay, okay what happened, Karen? What happened? <laughs> Thank you. Eh, la, el formulario para las, eh, las reinscripciones, teacher, no lo han compartido aún. Eh, sí, normalmente, de hecho, yeah, este, for me, yes. Yes, ya la mandaron. Esta, yes, ya la, eh, ya la today mandaron. was the last day. Yeah, yes. Ah, ok, no, no, no lo he recibido. ¿Y lo mandaron por correo o en dónde? En el grupo de WhatsApp está también. Ajá. Yeah. ¿Y por correo? No, en el grupo de WhatsApp estaba, estaban diciendo de cuánto. Ah, perdón, los... sí, no, no es en el grupo de WhatsApp, sí, en el, el WhatsApp, WhatsApp personal. Ajá, ah, ya, bueno, voy a preguntar porque si no he recibido no. nada. Ni oh. en el personal tuyo, no. No, 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 es que de hecho, teacher, a mí no me habían llamado. Este, me di cuenta por un compañero que muy amablemente me avisó y estuve insistiendo, insistiendo, ¿verdad? Porque Ajá. sí, no sé por qué no... Como que si se quedan muchas solicitudes rezagadas y no las, no las no. estuvieron viendo en tiempo. De hecho, he estado viendo en todas estas clases que hay muy pocos eh, alumnos. Ajá, ajá. Uh -huh. Por eso, pero qué bueno que pregunte porque entonces voy a pedir que me lo reenvíen. Sí, 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 porque ya está. De hecho, ya, 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 ajá. Se supone que ya, ya, y, la, ya la tenía que haber ¿cuándo, recibido. Uh -huh. ¿Y cuándo es el último día? Hasta ahora recuerdo yo, yo que, que había puesto. Ajá. Yo pensé que ah, era. Okay. Y, lo, y, lo, y alguien lo puede mandar por, 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 ¿cómo que se llama? En el chat. Bueno, si yo yo el tampoco lo he recibido. Okay. I'm going to send you. Eh, Gracias, Karen. César. Gracias. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, César. You're welcome. You're welcome. No, y, y qué bueno que, imagínate, te hubieras preguntado mañana, ya te hubiéramos dicho, eh, eh, fue ayer, <laughs> ya fue, pasó ayer. Ay, así. no, teacher. Ajá, ajá. Ok. Yo, yo, yo tampoco he recibido, teacher, nada, ni en correo, ni en WhatsApp. Ok, ok. Eh, bueno, eh, ahorita César va a hacer 
el favor de enviarlo, pero eh, igual yo, yo les recomiendo que mañana o oh, eh, si manden un, un mensaje o correo para estar seguro, a ver qué pasó, cuál es la situación. Can I send to the group? Ya, 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 ya. Ok. Ok. Yes, 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 no problem. Ok. Thank you so much for connecting. I appreciate, and tomorrow we begin Unit 5. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Good evening.